the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, King James Version. And it came to pass in those days that there went on a decree from Caesar Augustus, Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius, Cyrenius, Cyrenius was governor of Syria, and all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his is um, his paused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in the in the um, swaddling clothes and laid him in the manger because there was no room for them in the inn and there was in the same in the same country shepherds abiding in the field keeping watch over their flock by night and lo the angel of the lord came upon them and the glory of the lord shone round about them and they were sore afraid and the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David as Saviour, in the city of David a Saviour, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in the in a manger. And suddenly there was with the, the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it come to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph, and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known aboard the saying which was told them concerning concerning this child, and they and all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things, and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorif glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, as it was told unto them. <sighs> Excuse me. And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child. His name was called Jesus, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. And when the days of her, of her purification according to the law of Moses were accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every man that openeth the womb shall be called holy to the Lord, and to offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the Lord, and um, no and, and a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was um, Sim, Simeon. Sim, Sim, Simeon, and the same man was just and de devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Ghost was upon him, and it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost, that he should not see death, before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus, to do for him after the custom of the law, then, then took he up, to, then took to key him up in his arms, and blessed God, and said, and blessed God, and said, 
Look, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. And Simeon blessed them, and said unto Mary his, Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again, of many in Israel, and for a sign which shall be spoken against. Ye, a sword shall pierce through thy own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. And there was one Anna, a prophetess, the daughter of, of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher, or Asa, she was of she was of a great age and had lived with an husband with a husband seven years from her virginity, and she was a widow of about fourscore and four years, which departed not from the temple, but served God with fastings and prayers night and day, and she coming in that instant gave gave thanks likewise unto the Lord and spake of him to. To, um, to, all, to all them that looked for redemption in Jerusalem. And when they had performed all things according to the law of the Lord, they returned into Galilee, to their own city Nazareth. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, filled with, with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year, every year at the feast of the Passover. And when he was twelve years old, they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. And when they had fulfilled the days, as as they returned, the child Jesus tarried behind in Jerusalem, and Joseph and his mother knew not of it. But they, supposing he to have been in the company, went a day's journey, and they, they sought him among their king's folk and acquaintance. And when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem, seeking him. And it came to pass that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking, and asking them questions. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have, have sought thee sorrowing. And he said unto them, how, how, is, how is it that ye sought me? Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? And they understood not the saying which he spake unto them. And he went down with them, and came to Nazareth, and was subject unto them. But his mother kept all these sayings in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature, and in favor with God and man. How come there wasn't any names I have to? There, there wasn't any difficult names that are hard to pronounce. Actually, it's in chapter 3, Jesus. So shall we proceed to chapter 3? Um, yeah, let's proceed. <coughs> chapter 3. Now in the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, um, Pontius Pilate being governor of Judea, and Herod being tetra... <coughs> Tet Tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip, um, Tetrarch of um, what? Etcheria, and of the region of Tetraonitus, and Lysinus, Lysinus, Lysinias, Lysinias, and the Tetrarch of Abilene. And Annas and Caiaphas, being the high priests, the word of God came unto John, the son of Zacharias, in the wilderness. 
And he came into all the country about Jordan, preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins, as it is written in the book of the word of, of Isaiah the prophet, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be brought low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways shall be made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Then said he to the multitude that came forth to be baptized of him, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come, Bring forth therefore fruits worthy of repentance, and, be, and begin not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father, for I say unto you, that God is able of these stones to rise up children unto Abraham. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Every tree therefore which bring, bringeth not forth good fruits is, is hewed down and cast into the fire. And the people asked him, asked him, saying, What shall we do then? He answereth, he answereth, and saith unto them, He that hath two coats, let him impart to him that hath none, and he that hath meat, let him do likewise. Then came also publicans to be baptized, and said unto him, Master, what shall we do? And he said unto them, Exact no more than that which is appointed you. And the soldiers likewise demanded of him, <coughs> demanded of him, saying, And what shall we do? And he said unto them, Do violence to no man, neither accuse any falsely, and be content with your wages. And as the people were in expectation, and all men mused, or mused in their hearts of John, whether he were the Christ or not, or not. John, John answered, saying unto them all, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I cometh, the, the lachet of whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire whose fan is in his hand and <clears throat> and he will thoroughly he will thoroughly purge his floor and will gather the wheat into his garner but the but the chaff he will burn with fire unquenchable and many other things in his exhort, exhortation preached he unto the people but herald the tetrarch being reproved by him for Herod, for Herodias, Herod, Herod, Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, and for all the evils which, he, which Herod had done. Added yet this above all, that he shut up John in prison. Now when all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus also being baptized and praying, the heaven was opened, and the Holy Ghost descended in a bodily shape like a dove upon him, and a voice came from heaven, which said, Thou art my beloved Son, in thee I am well pleased. And Jesus himself be begun to be about thirty years of age, being as would suppose the son of Joseph, which was the son of Heli, which was the son of Matthat, which was the son of Levi, which was the son of Malchi, which was the son of Jana, which was the son of Joseph, which was the son of Mat, <coughs> Mat, 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 Matthias, which was the son of Amos, which was the son of Nam, which was the son of Naum, which was the son of Esli, which was the son of of Na Nagi, or N uh, Nagi, excuse me, which was the son of Earth Manath, which was the son of Ma uh, Matthias, which was the son of Semai, Semai, 
Sen, Sen, Senmai, which was the son of Joseph, which was the son of Judah, which was the son of Joanna, which was the son of Reza, Reza or Reza, which was the son of, how do I pronounce this? Zorob, Zorobel, Zorobel, which was the son of um, Say or Salathiel, which was the son of Neri or Neri, which was the son of Malchi, which was the son of Adai, which was the son of Kosan or Kosan, Kosan, Kosan which was the son of Elmadan, which was the son of Er, or Er, Er, Error, Error, which was the son of Jose, 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 which was the son of Elizer, Elizer, which was the son of Joran, Joran, which was the son of Mathdad, which was the son of Levi, which was the son of Sim Simeon, which was the son of Judah, which was the son of Joseph, which was the son of Jonan, which was the son of Eli Eliakim, Eliakim, which was the son of Malia, which was the son of Menan, which was the son of Mat <laughs> Matitha, Matitha, which was the son of Nathan, which was the son of David, which was the son of Jesse which was the son of Obed, which was the son of Boaz, which was the son of Salmon, which was the son of Nason, Nason, which was the son of Amiadab, which was the son of Aaron, which was the son of Esron, which was the son of Pharaoh, which was the son of Judah, which was the son of Jacob, which, which was the son of Isaac, which was the son of Abraham, which was the son of Thyra, which was the son of Nacor, which was the son of Sarok, which was the son of Ragal, which was the son of Philek, which was the son of, of Heber, or Heb, Heber, Heber, which was the son of Selah, or Sala, which was the son of um, Canai, which was a son of Arph um, Arphaxad, which was the son of Sen, which was the son of Noe, or Noah, which was the son of Lachmech, which was the son of Methuselah, which was the son of Enoch, which was the son of Jared, which was the son of Maliel, which was the son of Kainan, or Canaan, which was the son of Enos, which was the son of Seth, which was the son of Adam, which was the son of God. Here we proceed with chapter 4, chapter 4. And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being forty days tempted of the devil. And in those days he did not, he did eat nothing. And when they were ended, and when they were ended, he afterward hungered. And the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, command this stone that, be, that it be made bread. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written, that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. And the devil, taking him up into a high mountain, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in the moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power I will I give thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I, I will I give it. If thou therefore wilt worship me, all shall be thine. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee be behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. And he brought him to Jerusalem, and set him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down from hence. For it is written, He shall give his angels 
charge over thee to keep thee. For it is un and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest any lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. And Jesus answered, answering, said unto him, It is said, Thou shalt not thou shalt shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And when the devil had ended all the temptation, he departed from him for a season. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. And there went out of uh, fame of him through all the region round about. And he taught in their synagogues, being glorified of all. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for, for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of prophet, the prophet Isaiah. And he had opened when he, and when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, "The spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath." sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable ear of the Lord. And he closed the book, and he gave it again to the minister, and sat down, and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, This day is this, this scripture fulfilled in your ears. And all bear him witness, and wondered at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, Is not this Joseph's son? Is, is not this Joseph's son? And he said unto them, Ye will surely say unto me this proverb, Physician, heal thyself, heal thyself. Whatsoever we have heard of down in, in Capernaum, do also here in thy country. And he said, Verily I say unto you, no prophet is accepted in his own country. But I tell you of the truth. Many widows were in Israel in the days of Elias, when the heaven was shut up three years and six months. When the great famine was was um, was was throughout throughout all the land, but unto none of them was Elias sent, save unto Sir um, save unto Sarepta, 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 a city of Sidon, unto a woman that was a widow, and many lepers were in Israel in the time of. Else, um, El, um, El, Elisus, the prophet, and none of them was cleansed, saving Naaman and the Syrian, and all they in the synagogue, when they heard these things, these things were filled with wrath, and rose up and thrust him out of the city, and led him unto the bro unto the brow of the hill whereon their city was built, that they might cast him down headlong but he he passing through the midst of them went his way and came down to capernaum a city of galilee and taught them on the sabbath days and they were astonished at his doctrine for his word was with power and in the synagogue there was a man which had a spirit of an unclean devil and cried out with a loud voice saying let us alone what have we what have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who, the, who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace, and come out of him. And when the devil had thrown him in the mist, he came out of him, <clears throat> and heard him, and heard him not. And they were all amazed. And spake among themselves, saying, What a word is this? For with authority and power he commanded he commandeth the unclean spirits, and they came they come out. 
and the fame of him went out in every place of the country round about. And he arose out of the synagogue and entered into Simon's house. And Simon's wife's mother was taken with was, was taken with a great fever, and they bes besought him for her. And he stood over her and rebuked the fever, and it left her. And immediately she arose and ministered unto them. Now when the sun was setting, and all they, no, and all they that had any sick with divers disease brought them unto him, and he laid his hands on every one of them, and he and healed, healed them. And devils also came out of many, crying out and saying, "Thou art Christ, the Son of God." And he rebuke, and he rebuking them suffered them not to speak, for they knew that he was Christ. And when it was day. He departed and went into a desert place, into a desert place, and the people sought him and came unto him and stayed him that he should not depart from them. And he said unto them, I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also, for therefore am I sent. And he preached in the synagogues of Galilee. Um, one more chapter, maybe I, this camera doesn't have the maximum allowed length. Um, let's try. Shall we? Shall we try? Shall we not? Let's try. Yeah, chapter 5. And it come to pass that as the pre people pressed upon him to hear the, the word of God, he stood by the lake of, of, um, by the lake of Gen Genesis, Genesaret, Genesaret, and saw two ships standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets, their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would, he would, thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep. And let down your nets, let down your nets for a draught. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, will I will let down the net. And when they had this down, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes, and their net break, and they beckoned unto their partners which were in the other ship that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both the ships so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. When, for, for he was astonished and all that were with, with him at the draught of the fishes which they had taken. And so was also James and John, the son of Zebedee, the son of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not, for henceforth thou shalt catch men. And when they had brought their ships to land, there forsook all, and followed him. And it come to pass, when he was in a certain city, behold, a man full of leprosy, who, seeing Jesus, fell on his face and besought him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt cast can't, thou canst make me clean. And he put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be thou clean. And immediately the leprosy departed from him. And he charged him to tell no man, but go and show thyself to the priest, and offer for thine clean cleansing, according as Moses commanded, for a testimony unto them. But so much the more went there a fame aboard of him, and great multitudes came together to hear, and to be healed by him of their infirmities. And he withdrew himself into the wilderness and prayed. And it come to pass on a certain day, as he was teaching, that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by, 
which will come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was was present to heal them. And behold, men brought in a bed a man, <coughs> which was taken with a palsy. Palsy, taken, and behold, men brought into men brought into a bed a man which was taken with palsy. And they, they sought means to bring him in and to lay him before him. And when they could not find by what way they might bring him in because of the multitude, they went upon the house top and let him down through the through the tailing through the tail, tailing which with his couch into the mist before Jesus. And when he saw their faith, he said unto him, Man, thy sins are forgiven thee. And the scribes and the Pharisees began to reason, saying, Who is this which speaketh blasphemy, blasphemes, <clears throat> blasphemes? Who can forgive sins but God alone? But when Jesus per perceived their thoughts, he answered, uh, he answering said unto them, What reason ye, what reason ye in your hearts? Whether it is easier to say, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say. Rise up and walk, but that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power upon earth to forgive sins. He said unto the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, Arise and take, that, take up thy couch and go into thine house. And immediately he rose up before them and took up that whereon he lay and departed to his own house, glorifying God. And they were all amazed. And they glorified God, and were filled with fear, saying, We have seen strange things today. We have, we have seen strange, strange things today. And after these things he went forth and saw a publican named Levi sitting, sitting at the receipt, at the receipt, at the receipt, the receipt of custom. And he said unto him, Follow me. And he left all, rose up, and followed him. And Levi made him a great feast in his own house. And there was a great company of publicans and of others that sat down with them. But their scribes and Pharisees murmured against his disciples, saying, Why do ye eat and drink with publicans and sinners? And Jesus answering said unto them, They that are whole need not a physician, but they they that are whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. And they said unto him, Why do the disciples of John fast often, and make, make prayers, and likewise the disciples of the Pharisees, but thine eat and drink? And he said unto them, Can ye make the children of the bride chamber fast while the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the when the when the bridge when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them, and they shall and then shall they fast in those days. And he spake also a parable unto them: No man putteth the piece of a new garment upon an old; if otherwise, then both the new maketh a rent, and the piece that was taken out of the new agreeth not with the old. And no man putteth new wine into old bottles, else the new wine will burst the bottles, and be spilled, and the bottles shall perish. But new wine must be put into new bottles, and both are preserved. No man also, having drunk old wine, straightway desireth new. For he saith, The old is better. Okay, here we finished up this um, tonight's Bible reading session. So, thank you, a, ma a massive thank you to all who are watching and listening to this video. So, stay faithful, um, remain steadfast, remain steadfast, and stay tuned. Take care, have a great day or a great night, and I will see you soon again in my next videos on YouTube. Bye-bye. Cheers.